I've got myself a new bass, a German double bass, which I, uh, I had a, another German bass, a Warwick electric bass, which I swapped for this other German guy. Um, and it's like starting from scratch. Uh, I cannot play a thing on the double bass. And it's because it's so hard to play, it's so physical. Uh, I've got it a little more than a week and I mean, I can practice it maybe for tops half an hour, sometimes only 20 minutes because my fingers hurt. And, uh, and it's the hard thing about it too. It hurts when you play and because you have these thick strings you have to press down. And the other thing is it's so hard to play in tune because it's like a big ass violin with no fret markers at all. So that's the first thing you have to, to, to learn. And it's all about playing in what you call positions. You can see my, my, my left hand here. Uh, and you divide, actually you divide your fingers to first, second, and these two are playing together, the third and the, the fourth, as you can see here, if I'm playing, uh, let's just say I'm playing the open G and I'm playing the A flat, the first finger, the A with the second, and the B flat with the third and the fourth together. So you have have to these positions, or else you and they they have to be like in a tighter. You need this 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 grip of a fifth, uh, and it takes some time. And, and I'm I'm not nearly there yet. Uh, so as I told you before, the most the most difficult part is playing in tune. And how do you do that? Yeah, of course you should. Uh, you can play with a tuner, and of course you should. Your bass should be tuned after a tuner first, because then you can use your open strings that are in tune. So, for instance, I have the open string A here. I'm playing the open string A. You cannot see my right hand, and I want to play the octave. And then the octave I have to find here on the on the G string. So I have my positions. Practice that, here's the A flat, and approximately an inch from my first finger is the second. So let's try this. So I use, when I play this A, I use the open A again here for reference, because I know the, the octave, the low octave, it, it's in tune, so I just use my ears. You can see that it doesn't take a lot, drift so you have to be very precise and here it helps to have this open string you can also play the open D with the A here then you get a perfect fifth this is actually the interval that a piano uh, those guys that tune pianos I don't know piano tuners uh, use this interval a lot because it's easier to hear when it's out of tune And then I look, of course, on my finger, see the approximate distance. Do the same. Play an open E. Still not quite too. Playing these uh, the the G and the C in what we know on the electric bass as a third fret. Also finding with the, using the open string to get the position straight until you do it so many times that in the end you have this grip so you can always play in two, which I cannot yet at least. is a bit I haven't get gotten the bass set up I think that the strings are a bit too low right now the same for the C here now it's in tune but you could you notice I had to like correct Just the first 
half position, they call it. And then you have to move to the next position here where you have the first finger on the A, and that's more impossible to find. So I always... Ah. you have to follow like a method and uh, the method is is normally these classical uh, bass schools the, the one i'm following is called the c mandel uh, modern method of of double bass and it's from the last century and it's it's, it's you practicing you you are allowed to be in the first position or the half position as you call here before you can move further and i'm still at this this position, it is still sounds like shit. But I think I just have to be patient, but it's... So when I play a scale, for instance, an F major scale, and then F to the G, and I use the open one, to check if I'm in tune, A, Flat, the C, <sighs> well, I'm not Esperanza Spalding yet, I need a makeover to get to that point too. <laughs> 